Hey, what's going on everyone? Don here, and you're watching VR Gamer Dude, and today we are taking a look at another set of XR glasses. That's right. So, I can't thank Rocket enough for sending a set of the Rocket Max and their Rocket Station over to the studio for review. You know, I've been really interested in this XR tech lately, so I can't wait to see how these stack up. Let's go. Like all the other glasses that I've been reviewing lately, the, these really come in a nice hard shell case. But I, I will say this one is formidable. I, I mean, this thing is like a rock. So when we go ahead and unzip it here and open it up, uh, we're going to find that the glasses rest right here on top. Um, we're going to go ahead and remove those because we're going to take a look at those in depth here in a minute anyway. Now, inside the case, it, it has this little removable compartment. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I kind of wish that was a flap. Uh, having this as removable, it, it just, to me, it's something that's going to get forgotten. I mean, so, you know, if, if it was a flap, I might try to DIY that with, you know, some, I, I know, some double side tape or hot glue. But why I wanted to remove that is I wanted to show you guys this. I, I really thought it was smart that rocket included storage space for the station in, in the glasses case so if you're just carrying the station and the glasses you're you're golden man now what wasn't smart is it needs to be a little bit bigger and i'll tell you why because you can't put all of your cords in there so so you've got uh, two different cords one for the phone, one for the station. The station does use a, a not proprietary by any means, but it does use a, a micro HDMI. So, you know, you can carry your station, you can carry your glasses comfortably, but when you put the, the, the cables in with it, it really feels like you're going to break the glasses. So, in, in the future, you know, Rocket, you might just consider going with a little bit of a larger case. So now that we got them out of the case, let's take a look at the glasses. So the glasses themselves, I got to start with the emergent shield because, well, it's on the glasses. Um, I got to tell you, I really like this immersion shield. Out of all the glasses I've been testing lately, this one, it really, it, it's nice. It, it has some bottom light blocking. I love that brushed, almost semi-metallic look that it has. So bravo on that, Rocket. Now... Once we remove that, we do see these glasses, unlike the other ones that you've seen on the channel lately, don't take on that typical Ray-Ban wear Wayfarer. They, they, they actually went with a more rounded look, more sleek, uh, you know, very, very much, much smaller compared to some of the other glasses that I've reviewed. So looking at the glasses themselves... They they really are well constructed. Um, I will say I, I love the the bending on the hinge there. Um, everything feels nice and solid, yet very lightweight. Nothing feels cheap about these glasses at all. Um, I, I like the semi mirroring on the front. I love that brushed blue semi metallic look once again. Um, the nose pieces are removable. Uh, they they do come with. Th different nose pieces i'm not going to really go through all that in this but you know you just find the one that fits your face the best and boom there you go gets it lined up better for you um now one thing i do want to spend a minute talking about is the fact that we're starting to see this diopter wheels and and you know for people who wear glasses that is gold i mean being able to dial in your prescription is an amazing thing and, and the fact that companies are thinking of that finally is great so ar vr xr i always say any type of r whatever just start putting this into your tech it really helps out people who wear glasses and you know no more need lens adapters or trying to wear glasses over glasses it's just it it sucks so thank you rocket for thinking of us and putting that in 
So rounding out the glasses, um, you know, nice big uh, lenses here to the screen. Okay. So there's a lot of different things that we can connect to the Rocket Max glasses. So they they just use the standard USB-C interface right here to the back of the arm, and then now anything that has that alt video out on USB-C should work directly with these. So things like you know. Some of the handheld game systems, uh, my PC definitely worked with them, uh, the laptops, and you know, obviously, the number one use case for that is gonna be my phone. Now, Android phone, you just plug directly in, I believe, iPhone, you're gonna need some sort of an adapter that should work just the same. And now, boom, I, I wish you guys could see this on camera, but I've got a huge floating version of my phone screen it's nuts and for samsung users it works with dex which if you know what dex is that turns this into a little micro computer i can hook up a keyboard and mouse to it super super awesome for productivity on the go it's it's a game changer so now while doing that you're gonna eat up the power of your phone pretty quick so none of the other things that they sent is this little guy and i gotta say it's infinitely useful but slightly annoying now infinitely infinitely useful in the fact that it allows me now to you know just plug in my glasses and a power source to the phone so i can keep everything running especially if i am using it for a productivity work but the downside is the other night i'm sitting on the couch and i'm watching a movie and i want to get up and walk to the kitchen and i think okay cool just disconnect the power well nope it, that killed the entire experience. So when I reached out to Rocket, they, they did actually confirm that, yes, this does require power as well. So if you pull the power out, you can't just pass the video through using the power from the phone any longer. It, it blocks it. So that kind of, in my opinion, I know it's just an annoying thing, but... You know, if you are plugged in and working or on the go, sometimes you're going to want to just disconnect that power source and, like, maybe get up and go to the bathroom or get up and go to the kitchen. So, well, if you might retwill that, in my opinion, that, that, that would actually be a deal breaker. I, I would just, I don't know, find a, 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 a wireless charging pad that I could put it on or something like that. So... Now, with that, there is one other thing that you can connect the glasses to, and that is the, the Rocket Station here. And, you know, in I, this part, I, I mentioned it earlier in the review, I don't understand, but Rocket went with a micro HDMI connection to the station. So, in order to connect the glasses, you do have to use this cable, which is micro HDMI to USB-C. And that's just going to plug right into the back of the glasses, just like, you know, the other system did. And it's going to give you a, a full Android TV experience, which you will see here in a minute. So, you know... I guess now let's go ahead and jump into the rocket station and then I'll kind of, you know, tell you a little bit about the rocket station and then give you my thoughts on what I'm seeing in the rocket max. Okay. So here we are in the station interface and, you know, as you can see here on the screen, it is your standard Android TV experience. Now, so we're going to go through a little of this, and as we do, I'm going to kind of give you guys my thoughts on the glasses, and we'll, we'll kind of wrap it up after that. So, um, you know, real quick, the Android interface, you know, if you've seen one, you've seen them all. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, but it is a well-laid-out UI, and... You know, we do have a lot of different methods of navigating that UI here in the Rocket Station. So first is the station itself, and I do love the, the size and weight of that. I've got to say that right off the bat. It, it really feels like I'm just kind of sitting on the couch holding my remote, which is, which is perfect. I mean, I grew up with a remote in my hand, so... 
you know, on this, you've got your standard jog wheel, you've got your back, your home, your apps button, your settings, your volume power, you know, stuff like that. Uh, it, it also is a battery bank. It's going to give you a couple of hours. Uh, I, I think I've gotten a little over two, two and a half hours before it was kind of blinking on its last little, you know, little light there. Um, We've also got our settings here. Uh, now you've got a couple of different levels of settings in this. Uh, this is going to be your 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 aesthetic settings, like your display, uh, places where you can correct your picture. I did like that the fact that we can actually change the the picture a little bit and the color a little bit to uh, be you know something that is more pleasing to me. Um, You've also got uh, in here, you've got your your normal settings. So like your more Android settings for those of you who want to see stuff like that, uh, which is just going to be your network, your apps, your connected devices. Now, you know, since we're talking about ways to control the the experience here, one way that I really like is actually in my hand, and that is the DualShock controller. And one of the reasons I really, really like this as a method of control for these XR glasses systems is the fact that when you pair it, you get the mouse. So, you know, just makes things really easy for me to navigate. Uh, it's just really seamless. And then I guess the other way you can pair and control is with the Android remote. So this is going to give you the voice control. So that that is really cool that you are going to have the Android voice assistant. You know, things like that. You, you can literally do, okay, Google. Uh, it, it really makes the whole, you know, system seamless. So... All right, that that's kind of, you know, the Android TV in a nutshell. You got Google Play Store, you can side load. It, it's standard Android TV. So, let's talk a little bit about the experience here in the glasses themselves. What I'm noticing here with the the Rocket Max I can actually see pixelation in the screen. It's almost like the screen is too sharp. I mean, I can literally on bright, bright, solid colors, I can pick out individual pixels. Uh, and it also causes a slight bit of a lazing on, on, you know, hard surfaces. But is it a deal breaker? Absolutely not. Because I got to tell you guys, it still looks amazing. I Colors are a little oversaturated, but not too much in these glasses. So, I mean, everything looks nice and rich. And, you know, the, that that uber clarity really does pay off with, with depth. I, I, you can really kind of see a lot of depth in the image. Um, you know, as far as the, the screen being transmissive, it's bright enough to where even like looking here... I'm kind of looking at this light behind me and, you know, I can still make out the screen really nice. So uh, is it the best screen I've seen? No. Uh, is it the worst screen I've seen? No. Uh, is it passable? Absolutely. So uh, on to the last thing that the glasses are going to provide us, and that's the sound. Uh, you know, the sound in these pretty similar to, to most of the other glasses that I have tried. I will say this one, it, they do seem a little fuller, uh, if that makes any sense. The base is still kind of not there, but it's better in these glasses than, than what I have experienced in some of the other ones. Uh, so uh, 3D soundstage is decent. So. Okay, so time for some final thoughts here on the Rocket Max and the station. So let's start with the glasses here. I, you know, again... I do like the design. I, I like this sleeker form factor. I, I love the way that these things feel on my face. It, it just melts away. It literally feels like my good old trusty pair of sunglasses. What I don't like is the picture quality. And, and, and let me tell you why. It, it's not that it looks bad. It does not look bad in any way shape or form it, it looks good actually in fact i always want to say it looks too good because i can see individual pixels and 
So couldn't couldn't dial it away with the diopters. It's just the screens need a little fine tuning. The the colors are a little oversaturated. Not much, just just a little in my personal preference. I, I did try going through the different settings as I as you guys saw earlier. Really never could find one that 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 just looked natural. So other than that, the screen is nice and big. The sound is decent. Uh, I mean, for the price, uh, pairing them up with the, the Rocket Station here, I think right now you can get them both for $4.89. I think they've got that on sale, normally like $5.99, but I did look on their website before filming this, and that's what I saw. Um, again, I like the design of the Rocket Station here. It just feels like a good old comfortable remote in my hand. Where it fell a little flat for me is that it, it uh, kind of gets a little sluggish. I don't know. Going between menus and sometimes it just it gets a little frustrating. I got to double click just to get somewhere. and I, Then playing games on it during some of my emulator games it definitely wasn't working as well as i would hope that it would uh playing you know back to my pc using steam link or moonlight uh it, it definitely had some chop on a very very powerful wi-fi network that i have here in the studio so again works okay i mean for your standard netflix disney plus you know paramount plus you just want that kind of media experience but if you're wanting these for the the mobile gaming aspect you're probably gonna want to plug them into something a little more beefy than the station here so um other than that i mean it is a decent setup i mean it's not bad and again for 489 right now i would consider this kind of like a nice entry level xr system that's gonna do it today guys thank you so much for watching to the end of this video and uh, if you made it this far you know that means the world to me if this was your first time coming by the channel thank you very much for coming by to check out what i do here at vr gamer dude and if you don't uh, mind on the way out the door leave a like and you know if you really liked it hit subscribe and come along with me next time i review some cool xr tech or play a vr game or whatever else i'm gonna do this week on the channel but for me that's gonna do it i'll see you in the next one this is don signing off